Art has always been something more than just an object or a few colors to me, but in today's world with so much disagreement and controversy, people tend to forget that not everything can have a label on it and just be what they say it is. Taking an abstract concept such as art, which is you know, the expression of a person's creativity and imagination. We need to realize that our ability to understand art changes from person to person and usually differentiates also between the artist and the viewer. And I think that this is just something we as a society need to open up our minds to. And so to further investigate this concept of understanding art and how it differentiates from person to person, I decided to go straight to the artists themselves and see what they have to say. After visiting some of Karachi's well-known artists, I was able to discuss this topic with them and truly open up my mind and get a deeper understanding about different perspectives of art. I would like to thank all of the artists that allowed me to talk to them and have such an enjoyable experience. Well, well, someone checked in, why don't you go to do the, I had no idea what art school is. I heard about in CNB. Then I went there and I found a new world out there. It's like a journey, I would say, and making them understand what art is making myself understand what I am going to do after that. So it was a uh, mix of a journey, not really a personal uh, boundary or someone said hey, you should do it. Uh, technically I was supposed to be a doctor right now, uh, but that didn't work out in my favor and I decided to become an artist. I always did want to become an artist uh, and I suppose the initial science background has really helped. Uh, because I like experimenting with science and art. So yeah, I started painting. Seventy um, I have done my diploma. And that time, very few food tea galleries exist. But the, you know, I, uh, I, I exhibited. I started exhibiting at that time, and since then, I'm painting. For instance, the side of painting. It's 2000 or 3000, something like that. Up now it's 150,000. But that time, very low price. Every industry really came up at that time. And in the industry, gallery was very famous and very big gallery at that time. I was exhibiting and I'm telling my work. This is my way of learning. And uh, uh, I, every year they exhibit. One, two, three, five, seven, eight, 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 yeah, so all you can really understand is personal points. Mm -hmm. You say as an artist what your art is, or whether it is art or not. Um, and then you put it out and then people can decide whether it is or not. But I suppose it is your choice, so you say what it is. The quality of art, you cannot gauge with the material. But you can gauge it on the context of the conceptual premises. Uh, for me, these two things matter a lot. When we look at some art piece, we look at its uh, approach, okay. approach in terms of its uh, visual appearance and the way material has been handled, or uh, the way uh, we, uh, the artist have, have put his intentions down there. So it really depends on who are you actually looking at. What is it? Who is it? Okay. This is a company that I am not doing. Okay. This is a company that I am not doing. Okay. 
ये डिपेंड करता है बनाने वाले पे और उस जो सामने स्पेक्टेटर है उसकी सोच पे लाइक फॉर इंस्टेंस इफ यू यू लिसन सम म्यूजिक यू नो इफ इट कनेक्ट्स यू दैट देन एंड देयर यू विल रियली एंजॉय दैट बट इफ इट इफ यू कांट अंडरस्टैंड दैट कांट यू नो यू कांट सेम पिक्चर्स लाइक फॉर इंस्टेंस यू सी समथिंग एंड यू गो इनटू योर नॉस्टैल्जिक ट्रेन and you instantly connect with that kind of feeling what is your opinion i don't care they they understand art and then their opinion can come can be counted but the thing is that whatever you do that is your choice how you are doing what is the concept how i am tackling the con- concept through different media Uh, my way of painting, and uh, actually, art is something which is uh, uh, totally in artist's will. What artists want, they will do that. I'm forty years uh, uh, painting. No. No. Okay. Well, I'll tell you of a piece of work that was a great thing for me, and it was a process where I was uh, learning about the different properties of growing crystals from different chemicals. And <clears throat> it was, I think, a little while before when I was uh, inquisitive about quantum science, quantum physics, etc. And it just so happens that uh, I had set up this mad scientist lab at the gallery and. Wherever I was researching, it said that the crystals would grow on a, a rigid surface so that they had something to hold on to. Um, and I tried growing them on a few flat surfaces, and I would give it to be true. They just wouldn't cling on to them, but they would just slide off. Um, so I had a, a few shards of mirror, uh, of mirrors, and I decided to just. Randomly dump them in into this uh, super saturated solution that I made after about almost three weeks to a month when I took them out. They were probably one of the most strongest crystals that I had produced. And I couldn't get it because I said I thought to myself, I said it's such a flat surface. How in the world did this actually happen? And then my brain sort of just linked back to. Of science and quantum science, where it says that atoms act, react differently when they're under observation. So I did the math, and I thought to myself, I mean, the atoms of these crystals must have been staring at each other, at, at themselves, at the reflection of themselves in the in the shards of mirror, which must have changed around oh. their properties, and they started reacting in a different way altogether. So therefore, that theory came uh, to be true. Um, And I figured out a new way to grow crystals on flat surfaces. I know a lot of people don't like my work. Your work always questions you, so I can't say I am proud of one work that I have done. People have their uh, associations with the visuals, and uh, if they associate with that, they like it. I did a series, Chakravarti series. There are the sixteen. I don't think there is any either or, and it's just different from 
one person to another. Um, and I don't think you could per se act, actually say or criticize work in that manner. I would say that there are certain factors but that there is a fixed template that you can say, okay, this is good and this is bad or whatever else. So when someone is criticizing my work, I always ask them to agree or ask me first what I have tried to do. You know, it's a matter of perspective that I And I try to give my audience you know, the frame to look at it through. They talk to me, they talk to my, they associate with my own. Uh, the reason I did because they are trained in a certain manner, they think in a certain manner. And people who have gone through that kind of things, and they can associate with my are the one who understands the most. Then the people who are just artists or critics, they or the people in the art, they think in a very different way, think in a very physical approach towards the end My father doesn't come from an artist background, uh, but he's my biggest critic. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and I think what he says matters to me the most because it hits. <laughs> yeah. Um, and a lot of times, I think the criticism that you get from loved ones as opposed to people that you don't know um, is more impact impactful and actually makes you work harder. I feel like it doesn't necessarily matter whether they might be the biggest art critics in the world or somebody, I mean, completely ignorant and oblivious to the art world. We are more aware of the fashion of the times. I would definitely say um, that there is a tide of change that might have been more evident when I was working for the Karachi Biennale. And you could see this whole amalgamation. It's like these, these new concepts, these new, uh, perhaps things that might not have been so obvious or so out there have suddenly started coming up. Um, there's more space for them, there's more platform for them, there's more understanding. I mean, the stigmas that are attached are still there, but perhaps a little less. So I think that's sort of really opened up uh, a lot of different uh, pathways for artists, uh, especially being a performance artist as well. I think there is a sudden boom of all of this happening. 
So, yeah, there's definitely change. 